to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Eugenia Cooney and body checking. I wanted to do this video because Eugenia Cooney has been a hot topic lately and body checking is a word that keeps popping up but not everybody knows what exactly it is. And I also want to give you examples of what might be body checking and what might not be. Before we start, I want to say two things. Uh, first thing, I am at a new location. I have moved out and so this is my apartment, my living room. And uh, I really like this place, so I'm hoping to make a lot of videos here in the future. Second thing I want to say is sorry for not having uploaded in such a while. I have been very stressed lately and I've just not had the time to plan or make YouTube videos. And I can't really say if I'm going to upload more regularly now, but I'm at least gonna try to make this video. <laughs> so if you're seeing this, that means we're doing good. Also, I just wanna say thank you so much to those of you who have um, commented saying I need to come back and all that. That really does mean a lot. I've been feeling very good reading those comments. It really means a lot to me. I wanna start this video off with a trigger warning. If you struggle from an eating disorder or if you get triggered by very thin people or hearing about very thin people, then I would advise you to not watch this video. With that being said, we can begin. In this first clip, Eugenia gets a comment about someone asking her if she could put her fingers around her upper arm. And this is a check that people struggling with eating disorders often do around their wrist, ankles, or if they can, their upper arm to see if they are thin enough to be able to fit it through their fingers. Can I fit my fingers around my bicep? What's my bicep here? Um, yeah, I can do that if that's what you're asking. I don't really know muscles though. Um, like I don't really know like which, like I don't know if this is the bicep or if this is the bicep. I don't know. <laughs> um, you can put your fingers around your upper arm like that. Yeah, I just kind of do that. Eugenia does this and you know, says yeah, she can do that. The thing about this is a lot of people don't know if they can do it. Also, I just want to add that she is very eager to just right away um, put her fingers around her upper arm, not even really being sure if that's her bicep. They wouldn't just say, yeah, right away and then proceed to do it. A normal person would probably not know if they could do this, so they would answer, I don't know, and then maybe try, or they would say, no way. Also, a quote unquote normal, I don't really want to say normal, but you get what I mean, right? Person would not pick this comment. And this is something that Eugenia does fairly often. She will see a comment about her weight or her body and she will read that out loud. And she doesn't have to. There's a lot of comments and you know, they're not super chats. Mostly they're just people in the chat asking questions or commenting things that she could easily ignore, but she chooses to address them and in this case show that she is able to put her fingers around her upper arm. And the same goes for this clip where a fan of Eugenia tells her how much she weighs and Eugenia says we are about the same weight. I'm literally only 84 pounds. That's cool, Alexis. Yeah, that, that's cool. So we're like probably around the same. Yeah. <laughs> Eugenia seems to very much have a weight lifted off her shoulders when she is able to share stuff like this to others. I would also like here that this is something she seemed more into back in the days. Um, there is a clip, for example, of someone saying that she should gain weight or something like that, and she says, I don't want to gain weight. Do you want to gain weight? Uh, Zabby, you're no, I don't want to gain weight, but that doesn't really mean there's like a problem or anything not everyone really wants to gain weight you know so no i'm not like trying to gain weight there's no reason why i just don't feel like i need to whereas nowadays she just says that she's fine and everything and she's healthy and everything so she doesn't say that she doesn't want to but she just says that she doesn't think she needs to or are you afraid of gaining weight mean to you hi eugenia um i'm not really sure though like why you're asking me that i mean i'm so sorry if i sound rude right now um it's just like with some of these questions i just kind of feel like some people are just kind of like trying to ask me things to um i just don't really 
really know if that's something like I, I need to be on here like like answering I mean she just dances around it instead of being blunt and saying it how it is like she did it back in the days Obviously, in her thumbnails, she does show off her body, she does show off herself. Um, but if you look at other people's try-on hauls and try-on videos, they do the same thing. Because, you know, when you're looking at a try-on video or looking for a try-on video, you want to see some of the clothes in the thumbnail. So everybody is going to do the best to, you know, take a full body picture where you can see all the clothes. So saying that these thumbnails are body checking isn't necessarily true because she's doing what everybody else is doing and you know, yes, her body does look different but it doesn't necessarily have to mean that just because she looks different, she has to be body checking. Eugenie Cooney does show a lot of skin in these videos though and I will talk a little bit more about when I think it seems to be body checking. She also has always really been comfortable with showing her skin. The only time she seemed to not be was when she was in recovery or put into the 5150 where she gained a little bit of weight and she would be wearing more clothes and she wouldn't put her body as much in the thumbnails. And you could say this was because she didn't do as many try on videos but even then, she still just used more clothes and wore baggier stuff to hide her body. And that is also not to say that she didn't do any try-on hauls or clothing videos at all. Um, but in those videos, the thumbnails are not the same as they have been in the past. And she didn't really show off as much skin as she used to before she started losing weight again. So to talk about when I think it's more body checking than just her putting herself in the frame. In some clips, she looks very awkward. Her positioning, the way she's putting herself, she doesn't look like she's doing it to fit in frame or anything. It looks like she's doing it to poke different sides of her body out and to kind of just form her body and look at herself. And, um, you know, it's hard to tell with monitors because just like now, I'm looking at myself. I'm not body checking just because I'm looking at myself, but it's very simple to look at myself instead of directly at the camera. And so I think, you know, it's not all body checking. Sometimes she's just looking like how she is in frame. Like, is she in the middle of the frame or is she more to the side? Does she need to move? Like, how does this image look? And in some videos, like the shoe haul video, you know, she is sitting very far away, so it's not easy to see everything that's in frame, so it doesn't necessarily have to be body checking. But yeah, I would say when she's putting her whole body there, she's moving very awkwardly, she's looking at herself and not her face, because that's usually what you look at in the monitor, you look at your face, and if you're reviewing clothes, you might look at how um, your clothes look. Also, moving or standing in a way that makes your bones protrude out, if that's the word. Um, you know, leaning forward to get her collarbone or her shoulder and uh, stretching to see her ribs, etc. She also does a thing where she stands during streams. There was one stream that I watched and it might be a coincidence but um, she was sitting for like half an hour and then she got up, stood for half an hour and then got down again. Um, and I don't remember if she did the same thing like twice or what but it might have been a coincidence. A thing she does when she's standing though is she leans forward and she puts her hands on her thighs. And you know, this is something that people struggling with eating disorders can do in pictures. If they lean forward, the thigh gap can become more obvious. Obviously with Eugenia's thighs, she doesn't have to lean to get an obvious thigh gap, but it is something that people with anorexia and other eating disorders do to just make them look very lean. Um, also, by putting her hands on them, she can kind of feel them and uh, measure the size of her thighs. 
So I mean, I get that this is a way to look at the chat and just look at what people are typing, but it could also be a way to body check and to trigger herself by just feeling her body. Also, lifting her legs instead of recording her shoes in the shoe haul video or shoe collection video. Like I said earlier, it's, you know, she might be looking in the monitor to see if she's in frame, but a normal person would usually only have their shoes in frame if they're doing a shoe collection or a shoe haul. And uh, by lifting her legs instead of only showing the shoes, you can see her full body and you can also see, you know, if she's in a dress, you can see her legs when she's lifting them up and you can just see her whole body. And in some clothing hauls, I've also noticed that she doesn't get the item she's talking about in frame. Um, and it, it kind of just seems like she's focusing on herself and looking at herself so much to the point that she isn't really even knowing if what she is talking about is in frame. Which only seems like she is, you know, body checking because it's like you're definitely not looking at what you're talking about. You are definitely looking at how you look. Also in winter outfits videos, like you guys tell me, does any of these looks look like winter outfits? Like they are from winter outfits videos. Yeah, her winter outfits just does not make a lot of sense. And I get that she's inside a lot. You know, she doesn't get to go out and do whatever she wants to do, but still, winter theme, you're gonna wear baggy, cozy clothes, you're not really gonna wear thin clothes with a lot of skin showing, because that's gonna be freezing cold. Like that's, so that might be body checking just based on her showing her body in something that's supposed to be a winter outfit. And also, another thing is just that she doesn't talk about the quality of the clothes like other people do. There was a video she posted recently, I don't remember if it was makeup or clothes, but people were at least very happy because she was explaining um, the products a little bit better. She was, you know, talking about the quality and this, that, and the third, which is very different from her because she usually just shows off the clothes and, you know, says she likes it <laughs> she doesn't really go into detail so in summary i think her thumbnails um in try on videos make sense because everybody does thumbnails like that and everybody looks at themselves in the monitor so i don't think that this is like necessarily body checking as well but when she does seem awkward and she doesn't seem like she is focusing on anything other than her body and how her body is fitting in the frame, I think that is more body checking than not. And what I definitely think is body checking is when she chooses the comments that are about her body or, you know, if she could do this, if she could do that to kind of show herself off. Um, she picks those specifically and does what the comments ask for. Also, like I said, her standing in the streams and kind of holding her legs and just touching, feeling her body and kind of measuring it by her hands is just, you know, it's just something people with eating disorders do. And showing a lot of skin in winter outfits, I don't necessarily think it has to be body checking because, you know, a lot of the time you could do like a fall outfits and then there's one that's just like that's not really fall themed and you know i de i definitely think it has something to do with her not being out as much either she could just really use the same clothes year round but i definitely do think she does choose skimpier outfits to show herself off so yeah and also the fact that she doesn't really talk about the clothes it makes it kind of so that it's like, oh, it's really just all about how you look and how you look in those clothes. It's not really about the clothes. It's, how, it's about how you look. That was my video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I have been thinking about doing this video for a couple of months now, actually, but um, of Herbs and Altar, of Herbs and Altars did a video about this, the same thing, basically. 
and uh, I was like, oh, well, then I don't really need to do my video. I wasn't sure if what I had to say was valid, but it's been so long since I recorded something, so I figured I might as well talk about this. Um, I don't know if it's my place to do so, but I feel like it's something that I am avid about. Um, and it is something that I do care about, and I really do just wish the best for Eugenia. Um, you know, what the best we can do for her is, I am not really sure, but nonetheless, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciated that you came around to watch this video, and I hope you enjoyed your stay, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! Talk to me. Talk to me.